can resist anything except temptation. So said the Irish playwright and aesthete Oscar Wilde. He can't have been talking about horseless carriages in 1891, but all resistance is futile. The ladies must bide their time. Outside awaits style and the spirit of the times. Cool. The first public appearance of the brand new lifestyle station wagon by many, a nostalgic event in the Spanish capital, Madrid. Clubman is its name, and it confidently intends to attract trendy buyers of both sexes. Darling, they've stretched the mini. Don't worry, love, nothing's changed up front. It's true, the old-fashioned shape with googly eyes didn't worry the designers one bit. A million Mini owners in 70 countries can't be wrong. Mini in front, angular station wagon behind. The wheelbase has grown by three inches and the overall length is now 13 feet. One breath of fresh air, a third brake light in the roof line. The C pillar in a contrasting color is an eye catcher. The double rear doors are nostalgic, almost a cult symbol. Practical? Possibly chic, certainly. The Clubman was a child of the swinging 60s. BMC introduced the Aston Mini Countryman and the Morris Mini Traveler with a half-timbered look in 1960. Nine years later came the second generation, the Mini Clubman Estate. And what can it carry? The doors with their exterior hinges open to reveal just 33 cubic feet of space, or with the rear seats in use, a stingy nine cubic feet. The seats fold down individually if you reach in from behind. A cover for a flat load platform costs an extra 180 euros. Minis are not bargain basement. The Clubman is no exception. The basic model, the Cooper, with 120 horsepower, costs from 19,900 euros. The diesel version, 1,700 more. You'll need to invest 24,000 for the top model, the Cooper S. The list of extras is infamous. The new Kia Seed Sporty Wagon offers more space for the same performance. This little Korean car costs just under 17,000 euros. For 2,000 more, the classic Rabbit provides 53 cubic feet, good workmanship and flexibility. But the trendy mini clientele doesn't believe in boring conventionality. The Clubman has a couple of innovative gimmicks, such as the club door. This is a secret door on the passenger side, hinged at the rear, that opens only in conjunction with the front door. The rear seat is now three inches further back, giving extra leg and headroom. Unlike the basic Mini, the Clubman is a genuine four-seater, so you can take along mother-in-law and the children on your next shopping trip. You can also have a fairly clear conscience thanks to BMW's efficient dynamics. Regenerative braking is standard equipment. Also automatic start-stop, familiar from the 1 Series. Foot off the clutch, engine switches off. Depress the clutch and it starts up. The result is a good 37 miles per U.S. gallon, 45 miles per gallon Imperial, even with the Cooper S. And have they kept the famous go-kart feeling? Definitely. Firm suspension, low center of gravity, precise steering, and a slick gear change. This one-ton truck just loves twisty roads. The longer wheelbase makes it almost comfortable. However, the 175 horsepower four-cylinder engine in the Cooper S sounds more like double pneumonia than a throaty turbo throb. Never mind, it'll have them all swooning. Which brings us back to Oscar Wilde. He might have mentioned, it's not just the men who fall prey to temptation. But then he could never have predicted what the British were going to come up with. 